I can't believe I actually pulled this exploit off. What you doing? Oh, just one of the sweet courses from TCM. Nice. Yeah, I just exploited my Active Directory home lab. It was pretty cool using an SMB relay attack. Can you can you show me how you do that? Yeah, I can show you. It's pretty easy. I want to do it. First, what you need to do is um you gotta with the responder crack map egg. You gotta set up your DNS. Dude, you just did this. How did you forget? I I don't know. I just look. I just followed the video. But I can't actually remember what I did. I think I... You didn't write it down? Write it down? What do you mean, write it down? You didn't take any notes. Nothing. I should have written it down. I should have written it down. I should have written it I should have written it down. So, you guys have asked about this a lot. A, a lot. Yeah. About a couple of months ago, I was going to make this video while I was doing the EJPT, but I felt like I didn't have enough experience to kind of do it. But now that I'm going through the PMPT and I've kind of refined my method of taking notes, I thought I would make this video. So, let's go. Now, I've taken notes in multiple ways throughout my life. In my undergrad, I used to study theology. And in that, we had to do a bunch of note taking for all of the assessment that we did and all of the lectures we went to. And so I did a lot of manual note taking. I have done a lot of um, on the keyboard you note taking and I've played with a lot of different note taking apps. I've used OneNote, I've used Microsoft Word, Google Docs, a lot of different things, even Evernote, which is I'm pretty sure discontinued now. I used to also used to work as a disability support worker, which meant that I needed to take notes on a regular basis for clients and, and that kind of thing. And so I've had a lot of experience taking different notes in different ways. And now I've landed on using Notion for my, my note taking, my script in Notion, my hacking notes in Notion. I find it really easy to use, really customizable. You can nest pages, you can link pages, you can do a whole bunch of work within it that just makes it really personalized. And I really like that. And you can pretty much get it on any device. And the great thing is you can access it in the browser. So I really like Notion. I know a lot of people like Obsidian because it means that they can save it straight on their hard drive and that's where it is, it's local. But I don't like that because I like to be able to access things in the cloud and wherever I am and at whatever time I want. Mainly a convenience piece. So unlike the guy at the start of the video, the former Jerry, I don't generally go along with the video. So I like to watch and get the whole picture when I first sit down and watch one of the course videos. And so then as I'm doing that, I'm taking notes, I'm trying to really get the overview and then I'll double down. Once I've finished the video, I'll come back and try to go off the notes. If there's any kind of command that's unclear or any clicking around, I'll sit down and explain those things to myself and, and talk about those things just so I know what the thinking is and what the process is for what I'm doing. And so then when I sit down and do the lab, I'll then start doing this thing called versioning. This is a little tip that I picked up from the Kajan Koi Academy on YouTube. They talk about taking notes and versioning your notes. So your initial version after you've watched a lesson, taken a lecture or anything like that isn't the final version that you're gonna go with. It's the starting point. So as you go to revise your notes, you'll want to update them. So for example, I sat down and did the SMB relay attack. Now in that attack, you set up responder and responder has a dash R command. The problem is dash R has been deprecated and so it doesn't work, but the video was made in 2019. So it's a little bit outdated, not a huge deal. Update the notes. This has happened quite a few times um, and I imagine TCM will be updating the course. But the point is, is that as you go along, as you learn more things, you will version your notes and create them to become better, better notes and take better notes and change them. Now, another thing I like to do is to organize my notes into lessons. So say, for example, I am doing the practical ethical hacker course. Here in Notion, I've created a page with my practical ethical hacker. I'll put my resources at the top 
helps me keep organized and then I'll put what I'm in progress, what I'm doing and what I haven't started. I've split up a whole bunch of these into sections, uh, into the sections within the course. So we have our network fresher, uh, setting up our Linux machine and a whole bunch of different things here. As I complete things, I'm able to move them across. So if I'm in progress with my web app enum, then I'll move it across. Then I will go in and I like to set up my notes so that they have these, these little toggle list arrows, which means that I can open and close them, have a quick overview, what is LL, MNR, poisoning, what is it? And then it explains that. I'll have like more information here. You can save screenshots, all of that kind of thing. And then my steps here. So that will then, I'll explain like an overview, what are the different steps for this attack? And then what are the exact commands that I need to run? And I just find that to be the best way for me to take notes. Another thing that I do to make it easier for me to distinguish what are notes and what are the commands is I usually highlight them with the code formatting. So you can highlight something and then press Command E or Control E, whatever your operating system is, and it will create the code there. And that's how I kind of differentiate and make it easier. Now, the final thing I kind of wanted to share with you guys is a resource that I'm working on, which is kind of collating all of my notes so far, putting them in one place and being able to extract them. Because what I found is that I've created notes for the EJPT. They're in one area on Notion and then now for the PMPT and they're in a different area. And sometimes I like jump back and forth depending on what kind of labs I'm doing or what kind of attacks I'm doing. If I'm practicing on a machine, I'll be going back and forth between EJPT nodes and PMPT nodes. And I find that really frustrating at times because it's not all in one area and it's not organized logically. So with that, I'm working on this hacker's playbook, which is just my own thing for now. I might open it up for other people down the track if there's that kind of desire for something like this uh, but basically it goes and covers like what the EJPT content is the notes that I've taken from that and I've just uploaded them on here so you can see the recon so this kind of goes through the notes that I use there um, there's a bunch of formatting that I need to do on this like the code stuff but um, Windows enumeration in a post exploitation section is a little bit more complete um, and then as I'm going through I'm actually updating some of the content that I'm doing so so for example I was doing the access hack the box machine recently and there's a section on using Mimikatz um, and DP API abuse. And so I've created a section here that has a couple of blogs, um, other playbooks that I've seen that are really helpful and they're just resources for me to be able to get there really quickly rather than simply, you know, looking everywhere for the same thing. Um, so this has been, been a really cool project that I'm slowly working and chipping away at and I hope that one day it will be able to be helpful for other people but mainly I'm doing it just to help me and put it all together in one space. So let me know in the comments if you do something similar or if you've got a better strategy for note taking. Click here to subscribe and here to watch the video on how I am leveling up and how you can level up too with the PMPT.